Saturday night. Craig, we could be in for a low-scoring game considering this is a matchup of two defensive-minded teams. Yeah, and, and Kevin, I know for casual fans, low-scoring games might seem unexciting, but if you watch carefully, great defense is really fun to watch. So I'm pretty excited. Well, you got to admire and appreciate the unselfishness. I mean, kid always looking up and looking out for his guys. I mean, excellent at finding the open man. Now that's some hang time. What a pretty double clutch move. Agree, Greg. You can afford to get fancy on your way up when you've got that kind of space. And space is what he had, fellas. Soft defense there. Jason Kidd with the bucket. Oh, the concentration from Kidd at the arc, a big part of how he stays consistent from there. Jordan kicks to Stackhouse. Nice ball movement by Washington. Here's Leitner. A putback controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Oh, how about the finesse there? Nice little gentle touch on the board. And you know, when you have that gentle touch, those tip-ins are easy to come by. But only if you grind hard enough to get yourself in tight before the shot goes up, guys. You've got to get your work done before the shot is attempted. Here's Jefferson. A jumbo. Rebound, Washington. And here is Hughes. Boy, he was something else against Boston. Boom, he jams it straight down. Puts the D in a tough spot when you have a point guard who can throw it down. He really does, GA. He really does put pressure on him. And you know, guys, showing how dynamic a weapon he is for this offense, they feed off of that energy and ability to make plays. It gets them going. Here's Martin following the bucket by the Wizards. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. And Martin seems to have his game face on all the time. Plays with a lot of ferocity. A high flying forward gets after it on defense. Free throw good, Martin. And both free throws good for Martin. Wizards have gone three of four from the field to start out the game. Pass to Jordan. The fadeaway. They get it again. Clayton. And the dunk to finish it off. A beauty. And how about the aggressiveness there from Leitner? Just pounding away on the offensive play. There's the pass to Matumbo. And he gets it to go. Matumbo's got his second basket of the night. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, this early. Oh, 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 oh goodness. Where did that come from? Oh, oh, that was beautiful. What a punch. Here's Kid. Here in the first, just under two and a half minutes played so far. Pass to Kittles. Fires for three. And Stackhouse pulls it down. The Wizards with the lead. Passes it to Leitner. It's stolen by Martin. And now running it up the court. Martin pushing it up and finished off by Martin. And how about the focus for Martin on the fast break? He doesn't waste the advantage he has over the defense. Outside, Jordan. High, arcing shot. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Guys, seven times the lead has changed hands here now. Yeah, and that number should easily top double figures before it's over. Kid dishes to Matumbo. Pass to Kittles. From the arc. It's Martin on the wing. He would covering the pass to Kid. And the three off target. And out of bounds as the Wizards gain possession. For Washington, they've gone six of nine, shooting it well. Hughes, the pass to Leitner. Here's Jordan. Over Kittles. A shot by Jordan, no good. Fadeaway was the right shot there because it got his attempt away from the defender, but the touch was poor. Outside for Kidd. The long distance three is buried. Kidd's got six. 
And this is important for kids' confidence. When he's connecting from outside, everything else becomes easier. Here's Stackhouse going inside. Martin with the block. Jefferson down low. Hughes covering. Great positioning on the putback. Good awareness that time to put the shot right back up before the defense can react. To the wing right side. He would against Matumbo. To the wing on the left. Here's Stackhouse. Five to shoot. Washington needs to get a shot off here. The shot's good from Jordan. Jordan often gets his hoops off the dribble, but he also is capable as a catch-and-shoot guy. Here's Kittles. Tried to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. Outside, Jordan. Fade away. Two points. That one goes. Jordan's got his third basket of the night. And we've seen several lead changes tonight. Neither team giving an inch. Yeah, and the lead has changed hands, and it just hasn't stayed in those hands very long when it's changed. Back and forth we go. You talked about a back and forth game. This is the definition. You have to love these kinds of games, scoring wise, keeping everybody on their toes. Wizards making a switch here. Collins checked in. Collins checked in for New Jersey. Hit against Hughes. Brown outside. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here it is eye-opening. Kicks the kid. Down low. Here's Collins. And finished off by Collins. Outstanding entry pass there. He knew exactly where to go with the ball. Hughes, the pass to Leitner. Now Stackhouse. And Jefferson sends it back. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Jefferson. Substitution on the court. Jordan, the pass to Hughes. And the Wizards hit again from deep. Really crafty play that time by Jordan. Good decision. The defense was locked in on him, so he gave it away. Harris kicks to Kidd. Collins, a screen on Hughes. It's Collins with the drive. And we find out a lot about teams at this stage of the year, Greg. It becomes pretty clear where the soft spots are. Yeah, this is where the general managers earn their key. There's plenty of time until the trade deadline when there's a clear issue. A GM's got to start working the phones and address it. And he's good on the second. And so Jordan will bring it up for Washington. Right wing. Stackhouse dishes to Brown. Jordan with the ball. Williams picks him up. A shot by Jordan, no good. You, you almost have to assume he's going to knock those down when he is that open. Washington's gone 2-2 two two from three-point range here in the first quarter. Here he goes, and Jordan throws it down. You know, once Jordan makes his move to the basket, he has no intention of stopping, which makes it hard to slow his progress. Here is Rodgers. No points in the game yet for him. From deep three-point range, kid, no good. Washington leading now by three. Jordan passes to Stackers. The slam dunk to finish it off. Right down the lane, Stackhouse blows past the defense there. Here's Kidd. And Stackhouse pulls it down. Stackhouse has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. And three from Jordan. Doesn't go for him. 
The Nets go the other way with it. Defeated by the Pacers in their last game, they'll try to put that one behind them. Total embarrassment. I, I was shocked at how poorly they played. I think they were shocked. Yeah, and you know, those losses really hurt when you can't get anything going your way, everything going against you. Very frustrating. Outstanding distribution there. I mean, what impressive pass in the building. Washington calls timeout, and Washington going with a whole new group here. The Wizards with the lead. Out to the right wing. Dixon passes to Russell. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. A dynamic score. Russell can hurt you from all over the floor. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Thomas with the block, and he's able to get it back. Here's Collins. That shot off the mark. Good D by Thomas. And here are the Wizards now. They're on a 16-7 run. Lou passes to Dixon. Now Russell. Fader on the way. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. Now it's a seven-point Washington lead. Outside kid. He kicks it to Williams. Rodgers against Russell. Outside kid. And the three ball is good. Kid's got 11. Known as a pass first player, that's who Jason Kidd is. He doesn't shy away from shooting off the catch when he has opportunities. Here's Dixon. Good tee by Williams. So for the Wizards, their last game a win against the Celtics. And that one was all about offensive execution, running your plays picking your spots. Yeah, you know, not deviating from the game plan is critical. you got to trust in the system. Lou passes to Thomas. Now, here is Russell. Here's Dixon. And that one is hammered home. Yeah, Brian Russell is a shoot-first player, but he's also very unselfish. Did a nice job with the read and made a good pass. Michael Jordan getting it done for the Washington Wizards. He finishes with nine points in the quarter. The D is having all sorts of problems with him. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. Some good action already in this one, but a fairly even matchup after the first quarter of play. And before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen so far from the Wizards? Well, in that first quarter, they were intent on just pounding the ball down low. Yeah, and it's worked. They've got a clear edge and points in the paint. Now we'll see if they go with a more balanced attack or just keep on pounding it inside. It's his first trip to the line. First personal foul. First team foul. He throw good, Russell. And Greg, of course, the big story again this year, Michael Jordan coming back into the league. And he showed in his first year back he still has it. You wonder if this might be the last run, though. Still always a treat to watch the GOAT play. Jefferson passing to Matumbo. Here's Kidd. Jeffries with the rebound. Well, they'll be happy with that look, even though it didn't fall. You know what? That's a confidence shaker for him, though. I mean, that's a shot he expects to make every time. Pass to Jeffries. And it's Russell in the corner. Passes it to Lou. Just five to shoot. Here's Simmons. And it's sent back by Matumbo. And the on display defensively here from Matumbo. Just an incredible shot block. And that rejection had some mustard on it. Huge, huge play. You can almost feel the mindset he has. I mean, when the game's this close, he's going to bring it at that end of the floor. Looking at who's out there now for the Wizards. Brown, he's checked in for a John Thomas. And Larry Hughes is subbed in for Brian Russell. Nets trail by three. Outside Jefferson. Here's Martin. Offensive rebound. 
Pass to Jefferson. And the pass to Kittles. Tips it. It's good on the putback. Matumbo's got four points now in the quarter. I mean, the one guy you have to box out. Dikembe is so active on the glass. The feed to Brown. And we're a little over a minute and a half into the second quarter of action. Hughes with it. He's got seven. A three. Gets it to go. Hughes got ten points. That's a nice play. Getting the separation he needs for a clean look. And you look at him, he's given up an awful lot of size in that matchup, so he needs to have the ability to create separation. Kittle's shot is good. One of the things you've got to admire and respect about him is his aggressiveness at the offensive end, always in attack mode. Washington calls timeout. Jerry Scalabrini has checked in for Luke. And New Jersey with a change here, too. Scalabrini's checked in. Washington's gone three or four from long range in the game. Hughes. He's got 10. Over Kittles. Here's Stackhouse. Brown trying to free himself up. Oh, no good on the triple. Martin with it. Picked up by Brown. Here's Kittles. Let's keep it alive. Matumbo. And it's the Kembe with the jam. And at 7 foot 2, all Matumbo needs is a position near the hoop, and he throws it down. Hughes, the best of Brown. Here's Stackhouse, and they immediately answer back with the dunk at the other end. And how about that instant response? Don't <laughs> try to throw down on his team. It just gets them fired up. And that's the result. They launch an assault on the basket. I think the stakes just got raised a little bit. Even with every shot clanging off the rim, he seems determined to keep hoisting up these three. It might be time to get inside of that arc. Pass to Simmons. Here is Jeffries, covered by Mark. Fades. A rebound by the Nets. Martin's got five rebounds tonight. Here's Kittles. Good on the triple. Kittles has got five points now in the quarter. Just a really good job there of finding the open man by Martin. Very unselfish play. The screen from Brown. And Stackhouse kicks to Brown. In the corner, Simmons with it. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. First personal foul. Nice work to get it inside and draw the contact. Exactly. The defense determined not to allow the easy layup right there. They'll settle for making him earn the free throws. Or New Jersey, they've gotten exactly half their shots to go down here in the second. Five of ten. Pass to Martin. Kicks to Scalabrini. Outside Jefferson. Pass to Martin. He lobs it up. And it's to Kimbe with the jam. And, and how about Matambo there with the completion of that alley -oop. He has terrific chemistry with his teammates. Over to the wing. Here's Stackhouse. Oh, oh what a dunk! Boy, can Stackhouse bounce. So much fun watching him do his thing. Here's Kittle. Hughes cover. From past the arc. Simmons pulls it in. And here's Simmons. He'll bring it up for Washington. This is the first they're seeing of New Jersey. Yeah, a division battle. These two squads play each other four times this season. Time to get familiar. And these games always count double. I mean, not just league standings, but division standings at stake as well. Hughes with the steal. Brown the pass to Hughes. Goes up high for the two-handed dunk. Gotta take care of the ball. They'll punish you uh -huh. if you're that careless. That's right. And that's severe punishment right there. Exactly. I mean, when you're running neck to neck, those kinds of mistakes tip the scale. Wizards have gone four of eight so far here in the second quarter. Dishes it to Stackhouse. The screen from Brown. 
Ben Stackhouse kicks to Jeffries. A rebound by the Nets. Mazumbo's got six rebounds now in the game. Out to the wing. Here's Kittles. The putback. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Martin's got the game tied up here for the Nets. If you don't get a body on Martin, and when you don't get a body on him, he's wreaking havoc on that offensive glass. Hughes, good. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. And you know that's how it goes with him. I mean, this hot streaks, guys, don't last minutes. They last days. Kittles, no good. Here in the second quarter, he's been cold from distance. I think he may need to. Here's Hughes. Brown trying to free himself up. Hughes, good. And now a four-point Washington lead. I mean, he is tearing the defense apart. And let's face it, they have not brought their A game on that side of the ball. It was the exact same kind of offensive showcase for him in their last game, too. When it happens this often, that's, uh, that's not a pattern. That's a characteristic. Wizards leading by four. He takes it in, and he goes in for the dunk. And then that fella busts out the slick move inside to get open for the jam. Greg, that was sick and slick. The D had no chance. Yeah, he was one step ahead of him the entire way. And it's sent back by Matumbo. And finished off by Martin. And this is Martin at his best, getting that deep position and putting on the hard hack there and attacking the rim. Kittles passes to Jefferson. Outside for Martin. Lots of room. That one wide left. Tell you what, guys, you don't see that often. I mean, when he's this open, usually it's lights out. Here's Hughes. But turnaround jumper. Count it. Hughes got 18 points in the game. And Hughes with a nice looking shot there. When the D gives him room to shoot, he does not hesitate. And a new group out there on the floor for the Nets. Nets trail by six. Now here is Harris. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. And the basket is good. And how about the game from Kidd? I mean, we know he's an elite passer, but when his team needs points, this guy can carry the load as well. From deep, Jordan, and it goes for the fifth time in 10 shots for him this game. Yeah, I love the communication and the chemistry between those teammates. Here's Kidd, and he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. It's going to be on Michael Jordan. Always been terrific at attracting contact. Kid reads defenders so well and always able to compromise them. Both free throws good from Kid. And at the line, it's all about consistency with him. His routine, his stroke, it never wavers. Here's Jordan. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Hard not to respect how tough Jordan is inside. Really good at angling his body to pick up the foul call. At the line for two. And both free throws good for Jordan. Here's Harris. We've got 128 left to play here in the half. He dishes it to Williams. Back to Harris. Haywood with the block. And here is Jordan. 14 points for him. And it's blocked by Kidd. And they get it back. Hughes against Harris. Williams with the steal. Here's Rogers. And that one hits back iron. And if you ask me what percentage of the time he's making that shot, my answer would be in the single digits. Well, you can't be forcing a shot like that. You got to keep the ball moving. Get something better. Wow, that is a strong move there to go in for the dunk. And I like the job the defense did to not let him have it. I mean, make him earn it at the line. Both shots good from the strike. 
Boy, he's got a great stroke from the line. That's not something we can say about all the league's big guys. Jordan against Harris. And there's the pass to Rodgers. Draws contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. What a play there. The hoop plus the harm. Yeah, great concentration there. Hung in there. He didn't let that contact throw him off at all. Stayed focused on the rim, knew he was going to get hit, and still was able to finish. And slammed up by Jordan. There it is right there in front of you, Jordan, going to work and dunking it like only he can. And here's Kidd from the arc. And they get it back. And the offensive rebound and really the story here today, even with the big lead, they're still showing more hustle on the board. Jordan, shot is good off the back rim and in. Jordan's got the lead up to 10 now for the Wizards. And so it's Washington with a 10-point lead. Some breathing room heading into the break. And they've done a phenomenal job down low. So many of their points coming right at the rim. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. And if you're just joining us in this one, first half is in the books. One half to go. Wizards leading by 10. Michael Jordan on the wing. And out of bounds as New Jersey gains possession. Here's Kittles. Pass to Kidd. It's tipped. Hughes with the steal. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Personal foul. They get Jason Kidd. And Hughes, a very solid player, guys. I mean, an athletic guard who can get hot on occasion. Two shots. He hits both from the strike. Here's Kittles. Outside kid. A three-pointer off the mark. Wizards leading by 12. And Stackhouse kicks to Jordan. Passes to Hughes. Shot clock at six. And he takes that one up and powers it through. Got to do more than this to slow down Stackhouse now. He doesn't let tight defense bother him. Second half of basketball, just over a minute play so far. Kittles passes to Kidd. Goes up from the top of the key. And too long on the shot. Washington's gotten a success rate of just over 50% from three-point tonight. Four of seven shooting. Jordan looking around. Over Kittles. Up again. Great positioning on the putback. And the Wizards lead by 16. And, and folks, he did not luck into that one. He knew just where he wanted to be to grab that backboard. Got a piece of it. Jordan with it. 18 points for him. Fires from deep. Hughes kicks to Jordan. And a miss there on the triple. Nets trail by 16. Here's Mutombo. Good in the assist to Kidd. Mutombo's got 14 points. Check out the Kimbe Mutombo doing his thing inside. Using his height and reach to score the ball. I'm glad we got a chance to check out that fantastic drive one more time. And I just love his competitiveness. He, he's showing there. Team might be down, but a drive like that could spark them. Controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. He's got 16. Tell you what, the defense really struggling to find an answer for Matumbo. He's using that size of his to do a lot of damage offensively. To the middle, here's Haywood. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. 
This is his first trip to the line tonight. And, and you know, you'll take what he can give you from the free throw line. Looking at his numbers, just really not one of his strengths. Shooting in the low 60s last season. And you know, with his free throw percentage being where it was last season, it changed the way teams defended him. I mean, there were no easy baskets. He was going to get fouled anytime he got near the rim. Uh, they were going to make him earn his points at the line. And the offense has just operated really smoothly here in the open floor. Yeah, and for them to reduce the lead, they should keep the pace brisk. I mean, that's how they've generated the highest quality shots. Blue passes to Haywood. Over Matumbo. And again, Washington, no good. You know, they don't score on that shot, but they're going to be happy with those kinds of possessions. Outside kid fires the three. They grab their own miss. Nice to be in there. I mean, he's got like a sixth sense in terms of where the miss is going to go. That is really a talent. A little under two and a half minutes off the clock now here in the third. Dixon passes to Haywood. And now only one away from being in the penalty. Yep, the next one puts them on the line, so they've got to be careful the rest of the way. So for the Wizards, Todd Thomas comes in for Brendan Haywood. And it's Oakley in for late. And the Nets making a change here as well. Scalabrini's checked in. Stackhouse, good. You're playing around with fire anytime you let Stackhouse get this close now. He's a potent offensive scorer. Outside kid. Off the mark there with the three point shot. You know, he's just not taking good shots, not taking smart shots, forcing up a lot of low percentage jump there. Here's Stackhouse, defended by Jefferson. Martin with the block. Got to be careful around Martin. Kenyon Martin's athleticism allows him to send shots in reverse with force. And, and he has definitely been struggling in this quarter. You know, guys, it seems to me as though he's over anxious. He seems to be pressing, trying too hard, moving too fast. Just needs to calm himself down and wait for good shots. Yeah, easy call. Yeah, you can hear the smack all the way over here where we are. You guys, what do you think about the offensive approach so far that we've seen for Washington? They bullied the defense here in the paint. Look at all of those buckets inside. Just hard to defend in the paint. And, you know, the more they penetrated, the more they realized the defense wasn't able to stop them. So they just kept doing it. Right side kid. Martin trying to free himself up, and it's wide right. It's off the rim. Wizards leading by 11. Out to the right wing. Here's Dixon. Softly drops in the floater. Boy, that was a sweet-looking teardrop. There's very little defense for that. Here's Kidd, and he lays it straight in. Kidd's got 20 points. Down low, Kidd's assertiveness makes the difference. I mean, helping him get around the trees, the big fellas in there, and to his shot, that's good work. Dixon passes to Thomas. And here's Oakley. Here's Stackhouse. It's good from long range. Stackhouse has got 18 points in the game. Clearly a positive sign. When Stackhouse is knocking down the three ball, the offense really opens up. Pass to Kidd. Martin with a screen for Kidd. And he comes up with the deuce. Kidd's got four this quarter. Easy little jumper for him right there, guys. To the left wing. Here's Stackhouse. Thomas. It's good on the putback. And the Wizards lead by 14. Great job of crashing the offensive glass. He stayed with it. That's hard-nosed, tough basketball. And the Nets decide to take their first time out here. There's talk of a new dynasty rising in the East, and a lot of people think, Greg, the Nets could be a championship team. I mean, New Jersey's a talented squad with a young core, and they had a great run in the playoffs last year. But that kind of experience is priceless. Wizards making a switch here. Russell's checked in. Williams finds Harris. Rodgers against Russell. 
Not as good in the Wizards. Lead is cut down to just 12 points on the bucket for Rodney Rogers. That's a textbook example of how to move the ball. Boy, you got to love that action. Lou passes to Thomas. Rebound, New Jersey. Kitts got six rebounds here tonight. But three. And Stackhouse pulls it down. Stackhouse has got rebound number 12 now. Tenacity on the glass. There's the dish to Russell. From outside the arc. And the Wizards hit again from deep. Stackhouse locked and loaded on the catch. Almost automatic. Nets trail by 15. Here's Kidd. Offensive rebound. The kick out to Williams. Jacks up a three. Kidd, no good. He just keeps firing away from distance. I know he's trying to get himself heated up, but at what cost? Here's Stackhouse. New Jersey with the rebound. Here's Harris. And he uses the glass on the layup. You have to love the unselfishness on display there. Excellent passing. Lou passes to Thomas. Oakley kicks to Russell. But Trey hits it from three-point range. Russell's got nine points. Really, Russell can hit from anywhere beyond the arc. This time he finds a look down in the corner. Kid passes to Harris. Russell against Williams. Count that one. Williams has got his second bucket. I like the play call. Very solid, making perfect use of the pick to get a great look. It's Thomas on the wing. Nice ball movement by Washington. Russell from long range. The putback, great positioning on the putback. He is absolutely a wrecking ball on the offensive board. Charles Oakley crashing with a lot of force. To the inside, Collins. And finished off by Collins. Strong move to the 10, trying to get his guys going. Hard not to get motivated, GA, right when your teammate makes that kind of play. Yeah, you know, when you're looking to close the gap, you need guys who will take it upon themselves to step up, take the initiative, and make something happen. So for the Wizards, Brown is checked in for a Tom Thomas. Jeffries comes in for Oakley, and Simmons subbed in for Jerry Stackhouse. The Wizards with another miss. Nets trail by 14. Here's Harris. Takes it inside. Good in the assist to Kidd. Harris has got four points this quarter. No surprise there. I mean, realizing he has the size advantage, he exploits it perfectly. Now the pass to Jeffers. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Second personal foul. So I tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. Yeah, if you're going to foul, then make sure that you don't give a chance for the and one. Well, pro probably a little draft in the arena tonight. He's the last guy you expect to miss the mark by that much. Absolutely. Rodgers can't make the basket. Washington leading now by 12. Al Simmons. And the rejection by Collins. Here's Kidd, and the layup is good. Jason Kidd. Kidd's got 24. If you give him an inch of space, he's going to make you pay. Here's Lou. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Kidd with the steal. Harris outside. Here's Williams. Well, through three quarters of play, down double digits, it may be difficult to overcome. Wizards lead by 10. And we're coming back in just a moment. Get ready for the fourth quarter of action when... And this is it. Glad to have you along for this fourth quarter. That's trail by 10. Pass to Collins. Just no chance there for the defense. Major size disadvantage. He's got no business trying to stop that slam. Just get out of the way. Jordan with it. He's picked up by Collins. And Jordan slams it home. 
Michael Jordan, MJ. It really doesn't get much better than this. Here's Jefferson. Harris outside. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch they say by Martin. And the Nets making a change here. Matumbo's checked in. Washington with the ball. To the right side. Passes it to Dixon. Michael Jordan on the wing. Into the lane. And it's Jordan with the jam. Yeah, the explosive doesn't even begin to describe it. Jordan simply flying. Nets trail by 12. Pass to Harris. Inside. Here's Kittles. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. It's going to be on Michael Jordan. No question he got bumped on that shot. Yeah, the officials didn't need to talk that one over. It was obvious. Larry Hughes has checked in for the Wizards. Wizards leading by 10. Jordan outside. He kicks it to Haywood. Back to Jordan. The pass to Hughes. Just four to shoot. And they force the shot clock violation. Great team. Nets trail by 10. Harris passes to Matumbo. Trying to find Martin. He's got it now. Takes the alley-oop pass and dunks it down. Oh, that's a great find by Matumbo. A guy who always seems to make the right play. The drive by Jordan. And slam dunk by Jordan. And, and those are the kinds of plays that are just killing them right now. Priority and goal number one has to be tightening up the defense. They can't afford to give him open looks. In the corner, it's Harris. Back to Jefferson. Good ball movement here by New Jersey. And it's to Kembe with the jam. And didn't do anything fancy there, but didn't need to. Nope. He, his only concern right now is getting the points on the board. And I, I don't mean style points. Hey, I thought there was some style there, guys. What are you guys looking at? I mean, it was still a pretty sweet, flavorful one-hand flush. Uh, unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct, just fanning the flame. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming, attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal. And the foul called on Larry Hughes. That is his first foul of the game. Wizards making a switch here. Stackhouse has checked in. Here's Jefferson. Kicks it to Martin. Over Leitner. And it's Martin missing. And here's Jordan. He'll bring it up for the Wizards. It's a 10-point game. We're in the final quarter of play here. Three minutes in. Michael Jordan using that strength of his to get into the defense to draw the foul on the way up. First free throw is good. Shooting for Washington. He's perfect from the line this time. Nets trail by 12. Knocked away. And it's going to be out of bounds. New Jersey will retain possession. to New Jersey. Wizards on D. To the paint. And finished off by Martin. And, you know, we can't measure Hart. I mean, he's not as big as the other power forwards, but his jumping ability and mindset is incredible. Jordan, the pass to Hughes. Now, here's Jordan. Guarded close. Here's Stackhouse. Driving the lane. Now, how about breaking out the Statue of Liberty on that dunk? A nice way to pad that lead a little more. You're right. Yes, indeedy. Well done. And Harris, wide open. He shoots. Hits the three-point bomb. Harris has got it back down to a single-digit deficit for New Jersey. 
Outside, Jordan. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. Pretty good display of strength by Jordan there. Absorbed the contact and still able to nail the shot. Shooting for Washington. Michael Jordan. One shot. Nets trail by 12. Pass to Harris. Martin with a screen on Hughes. Harris's shot is off. Boy, he has to put that one away. A solid opportunity gone awry. Jordan against Harris. And then Jordan slams it in. Another big night for Jordan. What a natural score he is. MJ simply can do it all. The Nets have gone five of eight shooting as we've come down the home stretch in this final quarter. With the teardrop, another shot. Not as good in the Wizards' lead is cut down to just 12 points on the bucket for Martin. Yeah, coach's pet peeve there. No box out. Those are free points you're giving away. You've got to work harder on the glass. Jordan kicks to Hayward. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Fourth personal foul. That free throw, no good. Jason Kidd has checked in for Harris. Good on the second free throw. Here's Kittle. Right side kid. There's the lob to the hoop. And it's to Kembe with the jam. You know, Matumbo has a clear understanding of how to get himself involved in the offense and knows exactly when he should be looking to score. Whoops, they pick off the pass. Down low. That is good, and the Wizards lead is cut to just nine on the basket from Kidd. That is super efficient, getting in deep and then taking advantage. Hughes, the pass to Leitner. Jordan kicks to Stackhouse. And another miss by Washington. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. And here's Kidd from the arc. Traps in the tray. Kidd's got 11 points here in just the second half. The adjustments they've made offensively, they're putting guys in a position now to succeed. It's certainly been an impressive run. They finally found the right formula to break down the defense. Washington calls timeout. Lou, he's checking for Larry Hughes. And the latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Guys, Doug Collins was just reviewing things with his team. He talked about the mindset they need to have and what he wants to see the rest of the way. Engagement at both ends and making good decisions with the ball. Guys? Thank you, David. Wizards leading by six. Out to the right wing. Passes it to Stackhouse. Over Jefferson. And Jefferson sends it back. And now New Jersey on the break. Bucket is good. Boy, Jefferson so good in the open court. When he's got room to run, he pulverizes the opposition. The Wizards have gone 7 of 9 from the field down the stretch here in the fourth quarter. Terrific shooting. Here's Lou. Pass to Stackhouse. And the call on the shot Kenyon sends Martin. him to the line. Second personal foul. They get Kenyon Martin. Team yeah, you can't really have any qualms with Jerry Stackhouse's energy. I mean, he plays with a lot of intensity, which is contagious for his team. And sometimes that can be a difference maker out there. New Jersey making a switch here. Harris has checked in. Now a timeout called by New Jersey. Pass to Kid. Over Lou. 
No good on the shot. A bit long that time. And here's Jordan. He'll bring it up for the Wizards. At one point, they led by 16. And it's blocked by Kidd. Now here is Mark. Tight defense on him. And here's Harris from the arc. Offensive rebound. Nets. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. It's a tough situation for the defense inside. Mutombo size and strength. It's not easy to guard him cleanly. And so Matumbo nails both of them. Time called here. The Wizards decide to talk it over. That was a good time to call the timeout to try to settle everybody down and get back into their offensive rhythm. They've been coughing up the rock an awful lot. Wizards leading by four. Here's Jordan. Lou passes to Leitner. It's good. And the V has got to pay more attention to Leitner, especially when he's roaming around the basket. Now a timeout called by New Jersey. So it's New Jersey now. Now here's Kidd. Takes a three. And they'll get another chance. With that offensive rebound right there, they're likely to have the last possession. The free throw drops for Matumbo. And Matumbo, a defensive force, a long, intelligent player who plays well on both ends of the floor. And you really can't say enough about his composure in the big moments, as cool as they come. Leitner, the best to stack ups. Here's Lou. Off target with his three. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. A flawless finish on the alley -oop. And Mark doesn't mind having a little spotlight shined on him because this guy wants to be the man. That's to stack ups. It's stolen by Jefferson. And now, in transition, it's Kidd. Here we go. And finished off by Martin. Martin with some extra sizzle on that slam. That dude's just showing off now. Washington's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Here's Jordan. Rejected by Harris. In transition, here come the Nets. Martin with the ball. That puts them in the lead. Kidd's got seven points here in this quarter. And now we'll get perspective here on how the hustle game has been going for New Jersey. They've been so aggressive getting out on shooters all game long. Nothing's getting past this defense, and that, to me, has been impressive. And we also got to highlight how lackluster the opposition has been in terms of boxing out. This team is flat out bullying them on the offensive glass. Time called here. The Wizards decide to talk it over. They're trailing by two. 1.30 left in the fourth quarter of this one. To halt the run, Kenyon Martin comes up with the rebound. Boy, that is a rarity. When he takes flight, he usually hammers that thing home. And it's the Kimbe with the jam. What an outstanding play by Matumbo. Showing up for his team with some assertive offense. Here's Jordan. Count the basket it's going to be on Dikembe Mutombo. Boy, I, I'll tell you, there's an art to doing this. What's amazing is how often Jordan hits the clutch shot. Larry Hughes has checked in for the Wizards. They throw good, Jordan. A great job to get the bucket and to get to the line. When the game's on the line, you want your guys attacking like he did there. Timeout called the Nets. They're up by one. We've got 113 left in the fourth quarter. We've got 113 left in the fourth. The offensive rebound. A tumbo. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Hey, look, fouling the tumbo wasn't a bad idea. It's actually the right move, but Dikembe seems determined to not let his team down. And so he drops them both. It's a three-point game. And that was huge right there. Just as cool as he could be. And he's been clutch at the line there in a very tense moment. Hughes kicks to Jordan. Haywood with a screen on Harris. Here's Jordan. Passes to Stackers. Hughes with it. He's covered by Kidd. Stackers 
the pass to Jordan. Five on the clock. Driving inside. Count it. Well, Jordan has been fantastic. There's 47 seconds left to play here in the fourth. And you can't get a bigger bucket than that. Well, that was one-two. He wanted the ball. Nobody else was taking that shot. It's Jordan on the wing. Guarded by Harris. Pass to Stackhouse. Oh, wow. A huge basket to tie the game. He's so clutch. When the pressure is at its highest, that's when he's at his very best. For three, kid. And Haywood pulls it down. You know, he's just chucking it up from distance this quarter. If you're going to do this, especially in the second half, you better make it. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Hughes kicks to Jordan. Shot clock at five. Let's it go with a three. No good from three-point territory. Now a timeout called by New Jersey. Jefferson outside. Oh, and he almost had a four-point play right there. He'll go to the line with a chance for three. That one is on stack. Yeah, you hate to give up a foul on a three-point attempt. Yeah, unnecessary. I mean, make them earn those points from deep. Don't give them to them free at the line. as the second of three shots at the line missing. One to go. And so he ends up making two out of three. And it's a two-point ball game. And so it's New Jersey who straight by with the win. They break the hearts of every fan in the building with a dramatic late victory. And Kevin, this is the kind of win you have to take a ton of pride in. I mean, they battled with everything they had and came through when the pressure was at its highest. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching this presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports. And we'll see you next time.